Hello and welcome to today's edition of Recreating Your World with the Rap Study of Realities. God bless you. Today is Thursday, 31st December 2020. And today is a special day because today is the last day of the year 2020. Our theme for today's message is It was for your sake. Our opening scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. The verse above isn't referring to spiritual riches and spiritual poverty. When you study the entire chapter in context, you would understand Paul was dealing with financial and material prosperity. For our sake, Jesus laid down his reputation, his riches and works. He laid down everything and identified himself with us and took our place. He became us. Everything he did was for our sake. He wasn't poor, but he became poor for your sake. In the same way, you weren't rich, but now in him, you've been made rich. Just as in him, you've been made righteous. An understanding of these truths will cause you to walk in your inheritance in Christ, your worldly place in God. Your trust shouldn't be in the government, the society or in the job that you do. Your trust shouldn't be in any banking reform. Your trust has to be in the word. He already became poor so that you, through his poverty, might become rich. Now, you are to step into what he has done for you and who he has made you. You are to walk in the glory that he has brought you into. That was the essence of his suffering. The spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. When I testified beforehand the suffering the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should be followed. First Peter chapter one verse eleven. The glory now follows. Hallelujah. For further studies, you read Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, and you take it from the Amplified Classic Translation. If you're on the one year Bible reading plan, you follow the scriptures down the one year Bible reading plan. If you're on the two year Bible reading plan, you follow the scriptures down the two year Bible reading plan. It's prayer time. Say these prayers after me. Dear Father, I acknowledge my great inheritance in Christ and the place of greatness and abundance you've brought me into. I vehemently reject poverty, lack, penury and want, but consciously choose the joyful, prosperous life in Christ. I walk in righteousness, health, victory and success, which are my heritage in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Glory to God.